bearing the humanity we bear. Bearing the humanity we bear. As the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same. He could not come in the form of an angel, for unless he met man as man and testified by his connection with God that divine power was not given to him in a different way to what it was will be given to us. That is an incredible statement. I want to read that again. By his connection with God, that divine power was not given to him in a different way to what it will be given to us. He could not be a perfect he could not be a perfect example for us unless we were given the same tools that he got. Amen. Revelation 3:21 yeah, Revelation 3:21 says Jesus is talking he says overcome the way that I overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. Jesus is asking us to overcome the way that he overcame. Revelation 3.21. I think that's an incredible statement. If Jesus asked me to do something that I couldn't do, it, say, uh, if, if Superman, I'm just using an example, forgive me for using this <laughs> terrible example, but it's an example. If Superman was standing beside me and he says, follow me, and he takes off and flies away, I can't follow him. I don't have the same equipment that Superman had. But if Jesus says, follow me, he's got no better equipment than I got, so I can follow him. If he says, doesn't Jesus say, follow him? That's kind of a no-brainer there. Anyway, the last, um, not the last, yeah, the last paragraph, you got to flip the page. It says, God gives us a probation in which we may prove whether or not we will be loyal to Him. That's why I asked the question, are we safe? Christ calls upon us to lay our sins upon Him, the sin bearer, that we may represent, that we may represent God. But if we refuse to let them go, our sins taking the responsibility ourselves, we will be lost. We, we may fall upon Christ, the living stone. We have to fall upon Christ, the living stone, and be broken. But if that stone falls on us, it will grind us to powder. We want Jesus. We want the mind of Christ. We've been invited to take the mind of Christ. And Galatians 2.20 says, I am crucified with Christ. That's an incredible statement. He says, I am crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life that I now live, by the faith of the Son of God, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, by the faith of the Son of God, I live I have messed that verse up. Who loved me. Who loved me and gave himself for me. Jesus has done everything for, for us. There was, he has, there's nothing that he hasn't done for us. That he could, he, he couldn't do any more for us than he's already done, is what I'm saying. And the last uh, quote that I would like to read, and I, I just like this quote because I think it's cool. It's called Creature Merit. It's at the end. It says, If you would gather together everything that is good and holy and noble and lovely in man and then present the subject to the angels of God as acting a part in the salvation of the human soul or in merit, the proposition would be rejected as treason. So, as... As uh, the scriptures tell us, the, so the heart is deceitful above all things. It says, uh, Romans 3.23, that was, uh, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And our closing song is 
337, redeemed. Please be seated. Please be <laughs> 